today we will learn about current electricity. So let's start. We have studied the basic concept of electricity and its types, static electricity and current electricity. Static electricity, it is a stationary electric charge produced inside or on the surface of an object due to an imbalance of protons and electrons. This imbalance may be produced due to friction, induction, or conduction. For example, lightning, sudden shocks from one person, sudden shocks from the carpet, or hair standing up on their ends, attracting bits of paper using a charged balloon. All of these are examples of static electricity. Now we will learn about current electricity, which is the second type of electricity. In contrast to static electricity, current electricity is the flow of electrons along a medium, mostly wires made up of copper, silver, or aluminum. These are known as conductors. And this flow of electrons is called an electric current. And now this electric current can flow only along a circuit. What is a circuit? The circuit includes a source of electricity. This can be a battery or a generator. And then a medium for the electrons to move. And this medium is known as a conductor. The wires that carry the electric current are conductors. The next part of the circuit is known as the load or resistor and it is an electric appliance that needs to use the electricity. Now the fourth part of a circuit is optional, and it is the switch, which is used to control the flow of electrons through the circuit. Using a switch, you can stop or start the flow of electrons in the circuit. Now we will be learning about the parts of the circuit one by one. First is the source of electricity. It can be a battery or a generator. This is a simple battery that we all see and use in our homes. We use this battery in our toys, remotes, clocks, and so on and so forth. This battery consists of two electric plates called electrodes at either end of the battery, and these are placed inside a chemical mixture called electrolyte. This mixture causes one electrode to produce electrons and the other one to accept the electrons. The electrode that produces electrons is called the negative end of the battery, and the electrode that accepts electrons is called the positive end of the battery. Now a second thing is a medium for the electrons to move or the conductor in the circuit. A conductor is a material that allows the flow of electricity or electrons. Metals such as copper, aluminum, gold, and silver are the metals which are good conductors of electricity. So wires are mainly made up of copper or aluminum. Gold and silver wires are also used, but in rare cases. Water is also a good conductor of electricity. But for now, we will learn about the wires made up of copper and aluminum. Graphite, found in pencil heads, is also a good conductor of electricity. Now we know what are conductors. We should also know about insulators. The material that does not allow electricity to pass through them are called insulators. Plastic, wood, rubber, and glass are all types of insulators. They do not allow electrons or electricity to pass through them. And this is why you see wires wrapped up in plastic or rubber. So, so that we don't get a shock when touching it. Now this conductor or wire is used to connect the negative end of the battery to the positive end of the battery so that electrons may move from the negative end to the positive end of the battery. And in the middle of this wire you can attach a load or resistor that is an electronic device. In our example we will be attaching a bulb that you can light up using electricity. So through this conductor or the wire, the electrons from the negative end of the battery move to the positive end of the battery. 
and in the middle the bulb receives the electrons and lights up. So the circuit is complete. That is, electrons move from the negative electrode to the positive electrode through the conductor, and in the middle we have a load or resistor, which is an electronic device that uses electricity. Now let's learn more about the load or resistor. That is the electrical device that we attach in the wire. An electric current can flow in the wire from one end to the other end, but nothing useful happens. The wire just gets hot and the battery goes flat. To do something useful with the electric current, we need to put an electrical component in the circuit, such as a bulb that can use the electrical current to make it glow. And this electrical device converts the electrical current into another form of energy. The light bulb converts the electrical current into light energy. So we have learned about three parts of the circuit. That is, the battery, conductor, and the load. The fourth part of the circuit can be the switch. Electrical switch. Electrical switches are commonly seen in houses, offices, and schools. They are used to turn the lights, fans, and many other electrical appliances on and off. The electric switch opens or closes the circuit. When the switch is turned on, it completes the circuit, and the electric current flows through the electrical circuit. And when the switch is turned off, it breaks a path in the circuit, and the electric current does not flow through it. So the switch enables us to control the flow of electrons along the circuit. We can start or stop the flow of electrons in the circuit using a switch. Here we have an example of a simple circuit. Let's study the circuit and revise the parts of the circuit that we have just learned. First, let's take a battery. Now we need two wires. Now attach one wire to each end of the battery. And now attach both wires to an electric bulb. The electric bulb glows, and this happens as the electrons move from the negative end of the battery to the positive end of the battery, and the circuit is complete. Now, if you break any end of the circuit, the bulb will go off. Let's see. Remove the wire from here, the bulb goes off. Now remove the wire from here, the bulb goes off again. So, if you break the circuit anywhere, the bulb goes off. The breaking of the circuit can be done with the help of an electrical switch. This is an example of a simple switch that we can attach in the middle of the wire. Now if you turn on the switch, the bulb glows. If you turn off the switch, the bulb goes off. So friends, we have learned what is current electricity and what is a circuit, and the various parts of the circuit. 